Start with a ring of 12. Two, six, two sixes. First off. First off three. Like this. Make two of these. Green card. Run them like this. And fold. And take a magnet. A group, sorry, a group of three. Three magnets. You can figure out the direction. Right, you just have to fold it. Alright, so that's. So it goes like that. And we've got to go over. And put it on the middle one. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to make it sit exactly in the right place, so have a good look. We want this magnet here, can, it can want to sit in that gap, it's a bit annoying. But once it's in the right place it's fairly stable, and particularly once it's got a, another... another one on the other side, Then it's more stable, and you can do that. Now the group of those, if you figure out the um, the right join, you can line it up like this, and just bring it together. Now you can do that in a, in a string if you want. They do have polarity, these things, so even if you turn them over, they stay the same. The only way to change the polarity is to invert them. The chain that we made earlier, or I made, is um, alternates with, with different polarities, so you've got to put them together like this. And then each one is a different polarity. Now the, the other way to join them is um, end to end. That you put on little magnets like that, keep them apart so that they stay in that sort of um, orientation on there until you join it and then join it into there. So you can keep doing that into a six loop, and that's that other thing that I've made. And then you can join them like that. And the good thing about these is that because these are an alternating polarity compared to each other, when you turn it over, you've effectively changed the polarity. So all of these shapes are identical. Now I've made this. I'll put the little tri triangles on. You find the side that's the opposite polarity, not that one. So turn it over. That's it's right. And now you can line them up like this. And you can do that as many times as you want and it'll still expand. And when it expands, Got an expanded state. It's got a collapsed state. Both, both the same. They're both stable. Both the same. there and you can keep doing that And these alternate as well, clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, like that. And you can stack these together in a tower, and that's what, what's in the photo. Now 
this is a bit bendy well, you can't bend it too far before the, the tops crush into each other but what you can do is expand it all out and then it bends quite far expansion is about 185 percent and it's stable in both configurations hanging and it's quite strong. <laughs> 